to my channel. So we posted on social media the other day if anybody had any makeup questions. And this is my friend Beth. Bye. She's also a makeup artist. <laughs> so today we want to answer some of those questions that were posted either on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, so here we go. Yeah, number one, we had a question about eyeliner. What is the best eyeliner to use and how do you apply it? So I'll let you, what are your favorite pencil liners? So my favorite pencil liners, I actually have some right here. My favorite pencil liners are the Marc Jacobs. Uh, I think they're called the hold on, Highliner Gel Crown. I have them right here in black and brown, yeah. but they're just like your typical. I love those. Uh, your typical, yeah, like pencil liners. They twist up, um, but I really like these because they are extremely waterproof and they stay on your waterline really well. Um, yeah, you go. and my favorite pencil is the Urban Decay. It is the 24/7. What do I do? This? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me start. Here. No, you're fine. <laughs> Mine is this one, and um, I'm using Smokehouse. I use it all the time because I have brown eyes, and it's like a blackish brown, and it's really pretty on all colors. So I, I love that as my pencil liner. Um, and a lot of times, because it goes on as kind of a gel liner, I will use an angle brush, and I will just. Put it on like this um, on other people on on myself and on other people and it's great yeah i do yeah. that as well yeah. using a brush like to put your liner on is way easier than trying to get a really thin line of liner yeah yeah and i always go over that too with like a, a shadow a mm -hmm. matte shadow it just i feel like it sets it more yeah yeah i agree it could be superstitious but i do it so <laughs> <laughs> So the next, another liner that I really like is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, um, and I don't know if you can tell, but this packaging has seen better days. I, I keep this in my makeup kit, um, but this is a felt tips liner. This is my favorite liquid liner to do like typical cat eye wing situation. Mm -hmm. um, I love these. I like felt tip liners. I do too. Oh, yeah, I do too. I feel like it's so. <laughs> yeah, I just got some. It's broken. Brush here. So I'm gonna have to out. get a new one. <laughs> I love this Stila too. I've used that one before, and I really like that too. But my friend um, Diana, if you're watching, she just gave me a, a Stila liquid pencil, and I love it for the wingtip. Mm -hmm. But I always have trouble. Like, if you have trouble getting the wingtips to be symmetrical, you're not the only one. <laughs> you're not. This is our profession, one. and it's hard. <laughs> It's like the hard. It, I would say if somebody asked me like, what's the hardest thing to do on somebody else, I would say wing liner. Yeah, because I agree. yeah, and even on my own eyes, this eyelid is different than this one. So like, the it's it's just it's difficult. The struggle yeah. is real. The struggle is real. Yeah. Um, I love this Bobbi Brown black ink uh, liner. It's a gel liner, and I also use my brush. They have an espresso color that's really pretty. They have a mauve black that's really pretty. They yeah. have like. They actually have like 18 colors, so yeah. that's my favorite <laughs> We could go through all of them. Yeah. The next question we had was, what are the best makeup products and tips for mature skin? So we can start with foundation. What do you think? Uh, well, first we want to shout out to Mary Hamrick and Holly Morris for asking mm -hmm. us this question. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, makeup tips, I would say, well, I think the biggest thing is, I think we were talking about this a little bit earlier, is just not applying shimmery colors mm -hmm. to your eyelid. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any sort of fine lines uh, around your eyelid in this area or up here, adding shimmer really amplifies mm -hmm. those fine lines, like really makes them stand out. So when we're doing um, makeup on mature skin, we tend to use matte mm -hmm. um, products. Matte products. eyeshadows, yeah. yeah. Um, I think the difference would be though, like um, for blushes, there's a lot of matte blushes out there, but actually something more cream-based or something with a very slight illumination is pretty. Yeah. So on the eyelids, matte is perfect by far, but I love to use, like Bobbi Brown has a great cream blush that mm -hmm. I use on um, women in, in their 40s and above. Um, just it makes the skin look so much more supple and um, have a lot more moisture. And the hourglass blush, we've got to show them that because that's my favorite blush really on any human. Mm -hmm. Let me show them. Yeah, block the mirror. Okay, so this is like one of our favorite blushes. Um, this is the diffuse heat color, but it just adds like a really nice. I don't know if you can see that yeah. glow to the skin. Yeah, um, it's it's a beautiful glow. That's a good word. Yeah, do not have to fall. <laughs> so protective over on me. <laughs> oh, another thing. Going back to cream blush. Um, a lot of times, what I do so I don't carry cream blushes is um, I use lipsticks. I use lipsticks. Yeah. Yes. So don't feel like you have to like go out and buy cream blushes. Like if you have like a nice soft pink or like coral lipstick, like 
I use that on people's faces all the time. Yep. It's you crazy. Agree. Yes. Yeah. And especially if you're in a bind, like when I, like if I've been out all day and I'm about to go out dinner with friends and I don't oh, yeah. have my makeup kit, lipstick is going all over my yeah. face. <laughs> yeah. It's just all over. So another thing is, uh, let's talk about foundation. Yeah. I, I love, um, for mature skin and, and I just like it on, on really a lot of people's skin is this, this Dior Air Flash. It has a very slight illumination to it too. And that's what's important, I think, for the skin to look moist. You never want to use um, like a matte foundation. Yeah, we were talking yeah, about earlier. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, I think also, like I feel like a lot of the older people that I work with um, are like, like <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're like, my skin feels really dull. So I feel like adding like products that really like make your skin glow, mm -hmm. like a glowy primer or yes. like the cream blushes or a tinted moisturizer, mm -hmm. like things that are going to make your skin feel like alive again. Yeah. And also for those of you that feel like your skin is feeling dull or looking dull, I encourage an exfoliator, like at least three, three times a week. Yeah. Um, I think that that will it's get rid so of them. important. Yeah. It's, it's important for everybody at yeah. any age, but especially if your skin is feeling dull, you might need to lose some of those dead skin cells and just restart over. And then adding the moisture products, I think is going to help a ton. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So a question that we get a lot, um, is about contouring and, um, our friend Esmeralda commented on our post about, um, tips for contouring and products to use. So, um, I think as far as products go, there's a specific product that you should use for contouring. Um, we see a lot of people using orange and shimmery products for contouring. Yeah. Which just creates like the most unnatural shadow. Yeah. They're using like a, their summer bronzer for their contouring. Yeah. Anything that has any shimmer to it, you want to stay away from. And you also don't want to look like an Oompa Loompa. So yeah. That's the goal. Yeah, so here are some examples of that. Um, as you can see, this is a contouring product. Um, you want something like cool toned that looks like a shadow, whereas this is a bronzer that's gonna like add warmth to your skin. So this you would place in the parts that you wanted to contour, mm -hmm. and this you could just do like over your face mm -hmm. just to add like a glow. Mm -hmm. um, and I always make people do this certain face when I am about to contour them, and it's a really good tip for anybody so you do like a very subtle fish face like this. Like don't suck it in all the way, but just mm -hmm. very subtle fish face and then smile with your fish face. See, it's so easy. Her cheekbones totally pop and you want to <laughs> place your con you want to place the contour powder right there where you see your natural shadows because all you're doing is enhancing your natural shadows. That looks like I don't I don't know if it's going to appear this way on camera, but in the, in the viewfinder, it really looks like I have cheekbones, which I don't. Yeah, I know. If we could just walk around like that, it looks so normal. Fine. <laughs> um, let's talk about the brush though to apply oh, yeah, that because yeah. that's really important. You don't want to use a powder brush. I love having different brushes for every part of the face. So powder goes to powder and bronzer, but a contour brush you can use as a blush brush too. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. my favorite is Max 109 brush, mm -hmm. and I don't have an example. I'm really sorry. You're gonna have to Wait, I might have something though. Do you? Oh, that one sticking out right there on the top too is really nice. You just want yeah, something kind of like a dome. Similar. Oh. That's a dome brush. This is a good brush. Yeah, so this is a similar kind of idea to the 109, whereas it's it's like really... I don't know why they say that's a concealer brush. I've never I used know, it. I know, I wouldn't either. Elf. I do powder my concealer with it though. Um, but this is a great, a great brush because it's smaller, so you're getting mm -hmm. right where you need it. And you're not getting like a, a thick line. Yeah. You're just kind of placing it where you need it and then you can blend it out. So. Yeah, so when she was just applying this right in there, so you want to just hit the shadow with this brush, mm -hmm. take your blush, and then it's kind of like a Nike swoop. You go in the apple a little bit and then kind of go up and blend along the contour line and the blush. Yeah. So that. Um, Blending is key. Yeah. Blending is key with yes. contouring. Exactly. Because stripes are not cute. They're not cute. And you don't want to look like an alien, like no. a gaunt alien. No. Yeah. But contouring is such a big trend right now. I mean, yes. There's a million products. Every every single brand is launching some sort of contouring product. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely find the right shade because um, they're coming out with these like m cool tone brown colors specifically yeah. for contouring. Yeah. So that's what that is for. Mm -hmm. the next question would be our favorite brand. Favorite brands. Okay, we literally get this with pretty much every face that we work on. What's your favorite brand of makeup? Every single face of makeup. Yeah, and it's a great question. Yeah. 
but we have favorite brands for every part of the face, <laughs> so we can go into that. Yeah. So I would start with, um, I guess we can start with foundation. I mean, primers and stuff. Yeah. yeah fine. Um, my favorite foundation brand, this is really hard for me because foundation is like one of my favorite things, but I would say it's NARS. Um, I've tried every single NARS foundation. They have, well, they have four, but I have three of them, and I love all three of them. Um, I, had, I keep NARS foundations in my kit. I use them personally. Yeah, I use them too. Um, I just, I, I think they're the best. You recently used the, the newer one, the matte mm -hmm. something. Yeah. I use the sheer glow, and I love the sheer glow. I think mm -hmm. it's, it does yeah. have a literal glow to it. And it looks good on camera too, so you can still yeah. use it on HD. It looks really good on camera. Video. Yeah. Um, and okay, and my um, in my kit, I use sheer glow. I need mm -hmm. to get what you're just talking about too, though. So you use that on camera? Which one? The the one you're just talking about, the, the matte SPF, yeah. Uh, um, right now? Do you use it on um, like people on camera, like on set? Oh no, I haven't okay. purchased. I only got one. Oh so right, yeah, okay. just on myself. Okay. I'm going to get them though you for are. afters. Nice. I'm going to use them for weddings because of the SPF. I'm. It probably wouldn't have flashback, but just to be safe. Yeah. But on actors, especially when we're outside, it's matte. That's good. Okay, that's pretty. Um, for my kit, I use Sheer Glow by NARS, and then I love the Makeup Forever HD products, and they just came out with a new type of HD foundation, and I just think it's so pretty. And a lot of times, I'll mix the NARS Sheer Glow with the Makeup Forever. HD. Um, lipsticks. Uh, my favorite brand is a tie between Charlotte Tilbury and Chanel. And I've never used either of those, so I need to. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? <laughs> I. That's a great question. I like. Um, I really like Nars. I like their sheer lipsticks, oh, and I love do. their um, the pencils mm -hmm. so so much. Mm -hmm. And I really like the Armani lipsticks because they have. Oh, um, I've never tried this. Yeah, I have a couple of those. That I've been using, and um, they they're moisturizing, but they also can give a really pretty matte finish. I mean, they've got a number of different kinds, but I really like them. I can't afford them, <laughs> so I use them sparingly. I also like some Revlon stuff too, though. Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. So Revlon lipsticks are awesome. Yeah, Revlon everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh gosh, but um, no. What am I talking about? I think my very favorite lipstick is Bobbi Brown, and my favorite gloss mm. is Bobbi Brown. Really? Speaking of, I yeah. have a hot pink gloss here. Yes. Yes. You have to take it with you. I like saw it yesterday in my kit, and I was like, "That's best." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. Um, hands down, the rock. No question. Yeah. The pigment is insane. You just dab a little bit into the the color, and I always shake it off on my wrist, just like this, and then you dab it. You can spread it all over the eye and shape it really pretty. It yeah. goes for my eyes, I feel like. Um, and I have the Lorac Pro. You have the Lorac Pro too. Do you have the big mega palette? I don't, but I really want it. I know, I do too. And then the Lorac the Unzip palette is like my favorite Lorac Really? Palette. Yeah. I want to see it. I don't have that. I don't have this. I don't have number two. But the, the I like the um, the Unzip palettes. First off, their eyeshadows in the palette are like this big. What? Like you'll never go through it. No. Ever. Uh -huh. um, and I think it was like less than $35 for like 12 or 10 eyeshadows. Yeah, like their prices are insane. Like Super affordable. We love you, Laurent. Yes. <laughs> Even you though you don't do it for a discount, or do they? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I can get it. We can get it at Amy's. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. No complaint. Yeah, no complaint. <laughs> but I do like the naked palettes too. A lot of people ask, you know, what's your favorite naked palette? Because it's like, that's the end all be all eyeshadow. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It is awesome though. I yeah, like it a lot. Yeah, we are good. Yeah. But I would, I would pick Lorac Pro over. I would too. Yeah. over and make it any, mm -hmm. any day of the week. Yeah. Uh, Let's talk about a five minute face because somebody had that question. If you only have five minutes, what would you do and what would you use? Okay. Uh, I think we both agree on this one. Yeah. What, you know, yeah. Like say, what did we have? We Brows, have... concealer, and mascara. Yeah. Duh. And I would curl my eyelashes with my mascara. So I never curl my eyelashes. I curl everyone else's. I really? Because it's all the way in my kit, which is all the way in the kitchen closet and I don't want to go get it. Or buy another one. Like sometimes I curl my eyelashes even if I'm not wearing any makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Some like I'm obsessed with my eyelash curler. I love eyelashes. And I use a tweezer man one, super inexpensive. I have that one too. Like personally. Yeah. And my makeup kit, I have my one from school. But they're all kind of, I mean you just have to find one that works yeah. for you. Yeah. But I think eyebrows are so important. They frame your whole face and yep. you you don't want to have eyebrows that are too dominant, um, but also like too sparse. Yeah. So I think a, a nice um, shadowy or just a light light pencil is yeah. Good. I agree. Depending on the, how do you make your makeup last? Yeah. Yeah. There's these wonderful things called primers. 
and they make them for almost every part of the face. Yeah. Yeah. So eyelid primers, I love the rocks, hands down, it's my favorite. Because it's not like Eisner's, but yeah. Okay, okay, I need to use that. I need to use that. Um, and for the face, yeah, they there's lip primers. Yeah, and there's eyelash primers. Have you ever used these white things? No, I feel like that's getting out of hand. I actually really like it. Do you work him out one I like I got a sample size of it. Though. Okay, yeah, because man, I'm it's not like, gonna like, go out and buy it. $25 for the primer, $25 for the I know. Primer. It's a lot of eyelash stuff. My money tree died. So I can't <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, how to make your makeup last as long as possible. I would say primers, primers, primers. I would also say prep your skin. If you yes. have flaky skin, makeup's just not going to adhere to it. So, no. like, exfoliate, moisturize mm -hmm. your skin. Mm -hmm. um, they make, like she said, primers for everything. There's 5,000 different types of primers for your face. I like the Hourglass Primer. Um, I think it does have silicone in it, so I wouldn't use it every day. Um, that's another thing. There's silicone-based primers, there's water-based, there's mm -hmm. like all the primers. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I do love the Hourglass one. It's extremely expensive, so if you only use it every once in a while, get a travel size, mm -hmm. I think it's like $18. Yeah. Um, there's colored primers. Have you used any of the colored primers? Like I know Makeup Forever does like all the things. I yeah, I actually have four of those colored primers, but I don't use them a whole lot. Really? They've got they've got a great green primer that I use, especially in the summertime, like when I'm working on a male client and he's got a sunburned neck because maybe he played yeah. softball with his kids. <laughs> um, I'll put the green primer on where there's any redness and then put the foundation or powder on top of that, the colored yeah. powder. But um I love also if you have enlarged pores. Too Faced Primed and Poreless mm -hmm. makes a great primer that will fill in with silicone, I think, yeah. um, your pores so that the, the foundation goes on seamlessly and it doesn't look cakey in your pores. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one too. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Um, and I love Laura Mercier too. They've got a great um, yeah. moisturizing. The Radiance one you introduced yes. to. Yes! Oh, I love gorgeous. it. Yeah, and, and the Radiance one has a little bit of a, a sheen to it. Mm -hmm. And so you put that on and it looks like high powered shine, but then you put your foundation on top of that. It's very pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's another thing that I was going to talk about? Um, oh, setting sprays. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, we, I think we, Urban Decay Scandinavia mm -hmm. are our top pick. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a million, uh, the Smashbox Primer Water, it didn't really do anything for me. Um, I never used it. Yeah, it's like, it's just, it just seems like water. Oh. Like, a, it seems like, you know, like our rose sprays. Yes. It's like that. Okay, so that's just pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I use that, like, if my makeup, like, looks a little powdery. Yeah. And I want to, like, make it, like, look like skin again. Like, I'll spray, like, the primer water, like, a rose water spray, but yeah. it's not a setting spray. Yeah. Those are different. Yeah, and so that's why Mario Badesco, right? Yeah. The, it's the aloe and rose water that is so nice and refreshing. Yeah. So if your skin is looking cakey at the end of the day, you could just spray that on it. It gives an instant glow. Yeah. That's that's right. Right. So, hi, Kaylee Fiorello. She requested that we do, uh, or we talk about some wedding makeup tips and tricks, which... I mean, I think a lot of these questions go hand in hand, mm -hmm. like making makeup last, like setting sprays, primers, you know, finding a good foundation, moisturizing your skin, all of those things kind of combine with that. But I think that we're going to have to do a whole separate video on that yeah. because there's so many things we could say. Yeah. And like, like a wedding look is so different than like a, an everyday, because it is more shine. I think mm -hmm. they want more shine and illumination so yeah. yeah it's a totally different thing and they need it to last like 12 hours yeah um but also we can talk about in that video um like things to ask your makeup and hair person when yes you know we could go into like so many things for the wedding video yeah. so i think i'm gonna do a separate video on that mm -hmm. um maybe we could do it together yeah that could be our next video be um because yeah that's just like a whole other world but mm -hmm. we will talk about that i will put that on my channel soon because i know wedding season's coming up mm -hmm. Um, I know, it's crazy. Yes. It's almost March. Summer. That's weird to me. It was New Year's yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, we were, like, just in my house we on really New Year's. Were. I was with her, yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Um, I saw flowers in my kitchen from my New Year's party. They're dead. You should. They're dead. dead. <laughs> I don't know why I those. <laughs> you have memories. You don't have the dead flowers. Yeah, I think we... I guess that's we, it. We hit everything. Yeah. Um, if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I will link Beth's website, Instagram, Twitter, anything else you want them to follow? Oh, uh, I guess that's why you can link. I mean, I am on Snapchat, but I don't do any makeup stuff. Okay. <laughs> well, Snapchats are funny, though. <laughs> <You're silly. laughs> um, so I'll link all that.
all her information down below so you guys can follow her stuff. And if you like this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and let us know if you have any recommendations for future videos. Yeah, I would yeah. Love, love to see you do more. Yeah. Thanks mm -hmm. for being. Yeah, thanks for having me.